Hey everybody, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and welcome to my live stream. Just a couple things I want to go over right before we get started. First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot, and I can't say thank you enough. Second, please read the rules down in the description so that you guys have an idea of uh, what to expect during the live stream. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for uh, notifications. That way you know exactly when I go live and uh, when I post videos. I uh, do have some special programs uh, going on right now. During the, these live streams, you are more than welcome to donate to my channel in support of everything that I do. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, go ahead and hit that super chat and super sticker. What's really cool is if you donate via super sticker or super chat, I will match one exercise for every dollar you guys donate. What that means is if you guys donate a dollar, I do a jumping jack. You guys donate $5, I'll do five jumping jacks. Donate to me if you want me to do. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoy that feature. I also do have a new membership. It's an intro supporter membership. For $1.99 a month, you guys get uh, access to a couple different uh, specialized custom emojis as well as um, the membership icon showcasing your support. If you like my content and want more, please go to patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. That's patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. Check out my memberships. And if you like what you see, please sign up uh, and we'll get you going. Let's get started. Everybody, hope everybody is doing well. Uh, as you guys know, I am Scott from 36 Bricks, and thank you for hanging out with me today. So this is the start of the new schedule for uh, from here on out. Uh, there will be uh, a few uh, schedule changes uh, from time to time as uh, you know weddings start to pick up. Uh, in fact, I have a couple weddings in the next uh, couple weeks. Um, starting not this week, but next week. Uh, so there will be a couple days where I may not be able to live stream uh, just because I have rehearsals and prepping for the weddings themselves. So uh, again, thank you guys for, ever, uh, for joining us on this new schedule. So uh, just to recap the, the schedule for right now, it is Monday through Friday, uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. as well as uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, I will be uh, live streaming uh, 9 p.m. to midnight. So, um, and I apologize, sorry, it's 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, so 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, for, for, uh, for a total of three hours, Monday through Friday. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the stream. So let me check in with chat. Uh, Dion, what's up, big dude? Pete, Pete, Pete. Hope you are doing well. He says, my mom just left. Uh, she got me the classic set 
10715. Uh, really cool set. Um, just give me one minute. Uh, I don't. That is a. Uh, that is a one. Uh, let me see. Lego. Uh, what is that? 10715. 10715. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, 442 pieces. Uh, look like some awesome uh, pieces. Classic brick rolls. Uh, ooh, very nice. Very, very, very nice. That is awesome. Well, again, Dion, happy birthday. Hope you had a great birthday weekend. Um... And hope you are doing well. Mr. P, what's up? What's up? What's up? Saying hi to Dion as well. So, um, so essentially, I know this is marked um, random builds, um, but uh, I'm actually going to change that because I have been working on a build, um, and I stopped working on the build. I just realized that I've been working on a build uh, essentially by accident. And I stopped because I realized I messed up uh, and I want to revisit the build. So uh, I say I messed up as in I went out of order on your guys' choice. So uh, I'm actually going to edit this and change it to the uh, building uh, set. 31109 set 31109 um, 3 and 1 creator what's it called? Uh, give me one second guys pirate ship All right. So uh, we are going to be continuing this build. It's building set number three one one oh nine, the three uh, in one uh, creator uh, uh, pirate ship. Uh, I actually started this on the live streams um, a little while ago, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I mistakenly opened it up and started building it on the live streams. Um, because I grabbed the wrong box, uh, and that was your, the viewer's choice, but then realized the viewer's choice was um, the uh, Townhouse Pet Shop and Cafe, so I had to switch builds kind of uh, in mid uh, point. So uh, I, I want to get back to that build and start uh, having fun with that. Uh, I, I have started it already, but... Um, uh, so I will show that in a minute. Let me check in with chat. Dion says, hey, Mr. P. Uh, Dion says, there is a build for a wheelchair online, but I could build it by just the picture alone. Yeah, I mean, some, sometimes that's, uh, that happens. I mean, to be honest, uh, some of, with some of the builds, it doesn't really matter what the interior stuff is. Um, meaning, like, if the building is, you know, two bricks of uh, two bricks high, and they just have fillers or filler details and stuff like that. Sometimes that stuff doesn't matter, and you can actually just base the build off of the pictures. So, um, so yeah, some people try to um, uh, sell those instructions, which I get. They're trying, you know, uh, they're they're trying just to make a living off of the art that they are producing, uh, which is really cool. Uh, however, yeah, some of the builds are just very easily uh, put together. So uh, let me uh, break this uh, build out. That way I can kind of show you what I've put together already. Um, so again, this is the pirate ship build. build. I've already done uh, a few details on it. So I'm going to uh, break this out and I will show you uh, pretty much what I've done. I will probably be making some changes. So here is the front door. Okay, so this is the pirate ship. I am basically making it into a pirate pub. So, uh, so that is kind of my um, my mindset and idea. So, taking a look, uh, I've actually built a uh, a little 
um, water area right in front as if they have to walk the plank just to kind of get into the, the build itself. Uh, I adapted the this technique um, to this build, which I may change. I'm not really sure. Uh, I kind of have an idea for a door. Uh, I do have another door in mind, uh, but it's just working it out. Um, and essentially, the, you, you, you guys know me. I typically do the uh, outer shell first and then build the interior. Uh, so this is kind of what I've started putting together. Uh, so hopefully you guys like it so far. I kind of I, I like the details. There's some cool uh, detail work that I've put together here on the outskirts of the windowsill. Um, but this is basically what I have so far. Uh, again, I really like it. Um, uh, wait, I think this was supposed to go this way because it's supposed to be like rocks and all that um, to uh, include the water. Don't know exactly uh, what I'm going to build here yet. Um, that will probably come later, but that is the Pirate Pub uh, so far. So um, we will go ahead and start rocking out more of the Pirate Pub. I actually really like that name, Pirate Pub. Uh, I also want to apologize. My hands are, uh, are, are disgusting. They are clean, by the way. Uh, it's just uh, they're, they're stained because I've still been working on the sprinklers um, for the trees. Uh, I finished all the station work uh, the other day uh, and this morning, and now uh, it things have kind of been put on hold because there are certain times where I need certain parts that I don't have them and I have to go into town. Uh, or go to the, the hardware store, uh, Home Depot, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it takes about an hour to get there and an hour back. So, I mean, that's that's a good chunk of the day. Um, and then lately, the past few days, it's actually been uh, rather hot and windy. So it's been rather difficult to hang out out there in the, in the beating sun. Uh, and it's not like I can put up an easy up and then move it every five uh, five minutes. Uh, so that, uh, let me also go ahead and turn on some music, music. And we know we are from, and we are wildin', wildin' up on the floor. Um, where is my music? Is it playing? Oh. That's why. There we go. Sorry about that. Let me uh, catch up on chat. Um, half of the builds are online. The others are uh, in the instruction manual. Absolutely. All right. So let's uh, continue rocking this mock. So essentially, um, I have pretty much the outskirts of the first floor. I'm still working on the front and back door but I will get to that more as I finish the actual exterior of the build. So, let's do it. Um, all right, so we want to continue the flooring all the way up. Let me see what I got. Do I have any bigger... Let me check a couple things. Now these are all the pieces from the uh, two sets that I have. And let me turn on the air real quick because it is actually rather warm in here. So again, I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, oh, let's see. Well, that works out. Thank you. 
the six across. something smaller. So what are you guys all up to today? Doing anything exciting? Building anything exciting? Anything like that? do something kind of crazy and that I want like the rigging to be like the stairwell um, but let me see how that's gonna work do I have since it's a black floor let me see if I have any uh, like trap door pieces. And because it's you know what? Because it's supposed to kind of emulate let me see if I have going to modify the Avengers uh, van again with some new wheels I just got, then sort uh, the test of it. The, and then sort the test of it, or the rest of it. Okay. Cool deal. That would be cool as a uh, as a floor instead. You see, if I have a few of those, though, that's the clincher. Yeah, bad spelling, sort of the rest of the classic thing. Sweet. So I kind of figured uh, that's what you were kind of referring to. No worries.
There might be a couple in here. I see one on top already. Um, oh. Oh, let's see. Miss P says cool spelling. Uh, a good project. Uh, Maxis Brickstone uh, retracted his message. So we don't officially know what he said. Uh, Dion says Max is... That is a very close to advertising. Please read the rules. Your comment will be deleted if you do it again. Uh, I missed what he said, so thank you, Dion. I appreciate it. Thank you much. Thank you much. Thank you much. All right. Well, it looks like actually, well, I should probably try to find a third one uh, he was plugging his channel gotcha well I will say uh, Max uh, retracted his message so thank you for that uh, seems like he realized that was against the rules so not sure exactly if he's still here if he is let me check And he is not, so he popped in just to promote and then probably pop out, so. But thank you, Max, for uh, doing so. Recognize your parts or randomize your parts. 
A good old shake. Yep. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake those parts. Shake those parts. Ow! Shake, shake, shake. Give them a shake, shake, shake. Give them a shake, shake, shake. Shake those parts. Real good. Shake those parts. Real good. like the Polaroid picture. All right, I don't see, I don't see that part anywhere. Uh, so I don't think I have any, but that's okay. I think it's good for just the two rows on top. And then I can figure something else out for the bottom. Like, did that not line up? Yeah, there we go. I can do that. The cars were an awesome band. Shake it up by the cars. Uh, not a hundred percent familiar with that song. Um, all right, so here, Tuscan Productions. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good to see you. Glad you could make it, my friend. He says, uh, as quoted from our, our first pirate himself, I'm going to jar dirt. <laughs> All right. So I do need to figure out um, some kind of wrap around. That would be good. Um, unfortunately, I think that is actually the, uh, yeah. All right. I've got a couple of them, so perfect. Hey, Dion. Uh, I'm good. How's the mock uh, and you? I am doing fairly well. Uh, still quite a bit tired. I've been getting up. Uh, I, I First and foremost, I haven't been sleeping all that great. And then when I have been sleeping, I still get up very early uh, to help my girls get to school, get situated for school and all that. So uh, I'm not like getting 100% of sleep at night, but it is what it is. That's 
think that'll work. I feel you. I gotta get up uh, at seven to take my sister to school. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I tend to not really sleep all that well as is. I mean, I I, I have to take melatonin every night, um, and at even at that point, I'm literally forcing myself to sleep uh, because. Uh, my mind just races and races and races, so, uh, yeah, it, it kind of sucks, but, again, I mean, but, you know, as I like to say, it is what it is. It is what it is will be what it will be. It will be meant to be, meant to be, baby, just you and me. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be, girl, baby, it's meant to be. Ride with me, ride with me. See where this thing goes. It was meant to be, it's meant to be, baby, baby, it's you and me. Uh, I got I got to bed at 4:30 a.m. and was up at 9 p.m. I don't sleep well either. Fortunately, Violet uh, sleeps until 11 a.m. Well, that's cool. That is uh, definitely a good. A good thing. Ride with me, ride with me. See where this thing goes, baby. If it's, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, baby. Baby, it's meant to be. Ride with me, ride with me. To see where this thing goes. See, now I'm going to have that song in my head. 9 a.m., LOL, I screwed up. Yeah, I kind of figured that's what you meant, but, you know, I just wrote, uh, went with it. <laughs> oh, there you go, Dion. You get one piece. in here? No. Okay. feel like I'm missing... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, two pieces. Did you see the Loki trailer? Uh, I saw the original trailer. I know ju one just dropped, and I'm looking forward to it. But to be honest, like I don't like to view a whole lot of trailers because I feel like they spoil too much. And again, like right now, I am really, I'm kind of focused on. Uh, Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and like when I was focused on um, WandaVision, 
like I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to see anything pertaining to the other because I feel like it would it would spoil some of the fun. There's another piece, Dion. Um, I mean, I know at this point they're trying to really crank things out because they're like behind. But um, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the hard part, right? Is because they're so hard to uh, they're so far behind. I mean, everything got pushed back a full year. So because of that, it's like they're trying to make, they're kind of trying to play catch up and it's like, slow down Cowboys, uh, you know, people are going to go, you know, hold up, wait a minute, all I'm saying is Woody uh, freaking Harrelson, yeah, like, you know, don't, don't go too much into it because I don't want spoilers on my channel, but I mean... I can only imagine. Woody Harrelson is freaking amazing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I am excited. That's cool, Tuscan. I haven't seen the trailer yet. Ugh. He was in the original trailer. Yes, he was. He plays the same role, personally, personality each time, and it's somehow not boring. Yeah. I can see that. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this. I mean, that's the thing. He's one of those people that he plays himself really well. And it's hard to, like, uh, because he's so good at that, like, you really don't want to see him play anything else. I mean, I couldn't imagine Woody Harrelson as, like, I don't know, uh, Superman, or, uh, Batman, or, like, uh, Shakespeare, or, you know what I mean, or, like, Hamlet, like, I just couldn't imagine him playing those parts, and to be honest, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because, like, if he can't play... I mean, that does kind of, in a sense, somewhat type, typecast him. But he, he makes it work. He really does. I loved, I loved him in Zombieland as well. 
I don't really remember him all that much in Solo, but I've only seen that movie like once. Uh, Zombieland 2 looks good. I would like to get the DVD. Actually, Zombieland 2 wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, there was a there was a few little you know few little things. I I, I mean, I won't because I mean. At this point, I don't feel like it would be a spoiler, other than the fact that you haven't watched it. I mean, it is a spoiler because you if I say anything about it, it would be, it would spoil things for you, but at the same time, I mean, the movie has been out for a couple years now. So, Dion, uh, thanks for plugging the channel. I appreciate it, buddy. I thought I had like a bunch of work by one around. Like in a bag. Let me check. Real quick, guys. I oh. that my buddy uh his kids started a channel and so he's asking me a bunch of questions uh about like the basically algorithms and stuff like that Okay, spoil away. I don't care. Uh, no, I mean it's a it's a really good movie. So uh, I mean, I I think it's a little cliche. Oh, you know the the struggling teenager doesn't want to hang out with her her sister and you know the parental figures, the rebellious teenager, blah 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 crap. You know, that's kind of in a nutshell, that's kind of the storyline of it, is, you know, rebellious teenager no longer wants to hang out with her sister and her family, and discovers there are more people out there. Oh, wait. Hey, Mr. Shit. How's it going, Danny boy? All right. So, my buddy, Dan, he's the one that was asking me the questions about uh, algorithms. 
Uh, and basically, um, uh, going over some of the YouTube features that he is experiencing. Um, so, uh, basically, um, he, he sent me, to, to give you guys kind of a, a, a background, he sent me a picture of the real-time um, live updates. Okay, so Dan, so basically what that's showing is uh, all of the views coming in in a real-time matter. That number is going to be updated live, and you can, it'll say how many views and then last X amount of minutes. Uh, that is a scroll down, so if you take a look, um, the it'll either say 60 minutes or the last uh, 48 hours, okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so essentially what, what, it, what you're looking at is there's a lot of, lot of stuff, and I'm a little surprised at the stats that you're showing me, to be honest. So, browser features, it's basically, um, like your web browser, um, I mean, it's, it's just the natural features that YouTube uses to, uh, spread the video, right? Um, and as small of a channel as theirs are, it typically is always a 50% because when you're just starting out your channel, um, <coughs> There's really only two ways that people are seeing it. They're seeing it randomly in their feed because they're associated with that person of some kind or uh, the channel pages. So basically, the browser feature in this case represents every single time that you share the link to that video, okay? <clears throat> so if you're sharing that video link a lot, then, um, like that's what it represents. So if that video has a hundred views, fifty of them came from you uh, sharing the video itself, and then channel pages is basically you've shared their channel, like, and they've someone by sharing that channel somebody has clicked on that video, like they've they've clicked on that video from that channel. So. That, there's going to be a lot of stuff on there, but those won't those won't be on there until uh, it's actually showcased as a percent. Like there's shorts, there's uh, you know as you can see there's direct or unknown, and then there's external, there's you know all of that stuff. So external is usually if someone else shares it um, that's not associated with. Uh, you know that that's where those external uh, external clicks in, but that's the short layman's terms of it. Hope that helps. Now, um, to clarify on the rules, uh, of course there is no self promotion or anything like that. But in the case of Dan, he's not asking for self promotion, or he's not self promoting. He's asking me to explain general terms for YouTube. So that's where the difference lies. I'm not promoting his channel uh, or anything like that. I'm just showcasing what uh, those general, what everybody would see those general terms mean. All right, so back to the build. All right. Now it's weird because I'm going through these pieces and I feel like there's some pieces that are missing. Yep, thanks. No problem, Nuke. I need to duplicate that. So let's see what pieces I need. I don't know that I need these top pieces. 
So I'm just going to discard those for now, and then I'm going to look for the other pieces. Uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, Zombie 2 was great. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, I, I personally, I feel like it took them way too damn long to make it. And I felt like their excuses were crap. I mean, they're like, oh, well, we wanted to wait, you know, it's, People have been trying to make it for years, just the right script has never come along. Blah, 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 blah. And to be honest, every time I hear that, I'm just like, shut up. Um, I mean, come on. You know, get over yourselves. Just produce the movie. Make sure it's good. Don't get me. Don't get it twisted. But don't give us that. Oh, we were just waiting for the right script to come along. It, it just doesn't. You know. It doesn't fit the BS meter. Ah, uh, come on. the heck? Oh, is it? See, I tried that, but for whatever reason, it didn't work. It's like not reaching. All right. Um... Sorry about that, guys. I feel like that killed. Uh, I, ki I feel like I killed chat with with that conversation. Um. So I have, I apologize for that, guys. I didn't mean to kill chat. about. Uh, so yeah, uh, I really like Zombieland uh, a lot, actually. Zombieland and Zombieland 2. Uh, like I said, I just, I wish they would have come out 
come out with it sooner because I think they could literally, um, you know, expand on it and be like, um, uh, what's it called? They could, they could have expanded on it a long time ago. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like stupid stuff like ego that kind of got in the way. You're good, buddy. I'm just sorting parts. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall good movie. It, you know, it was good for what it was. I, yeah, I seriously feel like I'm missing, like, parts. That I don't... Because there was two of these sets. I think I'm going to actually oh, have to do that because, yeah. Um, this piece the same sorting parts too. Zombieland one was good. Uh, then The Walking Dead came along and took zombie uh, series and films to a new level. And you're right, Zombieland two was too late. Yeah, I mean they did it. It was like you know five years or uh, 25 years later or some shit like that. Like or 20 years later. I mean. It's all well and good, but I'm glad that we got it, but... With it being like... What was it? It was like 15 years later it finally came out.
I mean, everybody's been wanting that movie, and it took them that long to seriously put something together. I don't know. I just saw this. Uh, what? What are? Uh, it's in here. What do they say? The sniff test does not. It, like it doesn't smell right. But I do agree, Walking, in fact, I am, it's kind of funny that you mentioned The Walking Dead, because I'm actually re-watching the entire series right now. I'm on episode four, season one. To Walking Dead is hard to compare with. It is on a different level completely. Well, because it's... Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, all of that, it's on a whole different level because other than some some of the aspects, it really brings it to life. Like it brings uh it it brings it more to reality in the sense of like what these people would go through on a daily basis. The, the only thing that's kind of getting me, though, about The Walking Dead is the fact that it's, it's now getting repetitive. And I say that because, like, it's like every season we run into a villain. Uh, and then we conquer a villain, whether it be that same season or it takes two seasons to conquer that villain. And then... Once we conquer that villain, here comes another one. And to be honest, I hope that if that kind of thing was, that, that kind of situation was to go down in real life, I would hope that you wouldn't be constantly you know, approached by villains. I mean, like, and when I say v villains, I mean, like, full-on tyrants. Like, we are going, you know, they're not... Um... I just, I just hope that wouldn't occur in real life. I would hope that, you know, I mean, even, um, even situations where it's like, um, you know, they're actually, they turn out to be good. I mean, they were originally tyrants. They were originally, you know, bad people. Um, I mean... Uh, Ezekiel, I think his name is, from the, uh, the kingdom. It's like, really, dude? You know, you're walking around, 
Um, as if you're king? Like, that's a dictator. That's, I mean, get a freaking pet, um, you know, pet tiger? Really? Things like Walking Dead, hold on, uh, agree Dion, we had a direct zombie series since Zombieland, everyone had done zombies to death, uh, pardon the pun, and even semi-series, serious seasons like The Walking Dead had the occasional humor. Um, yeah, absolutely, I mean, yes, yeah, seems like Walking Dead villains come off and a production line, lol. Right. Hey, Cody, how's it going, my friend? Thanks for joining us. Oh, well, that tiger didn't last long. No, he didn't. <laughs> um, which, that in itself was stupid. I mean, it's a freaking tiger. I mean, you're really going to tell me that the tiger was taken out by a bunch of walkers? Sorry, but, again, doesn't quite... Regist uh, you know, doesn't quite pass the sniff test. Doesn't quite pass the, the sniff test. It, it just came across, that tiger came across, the death of that tiger came across as, we don't want to keep paying for the uh, CGI, so what can we do to get rid of it? <clears throat> that's that's kind of how how it came across to me. Okay, I need two one by CGI budget ran out. I mean, exactly. That tiger didn't last. Yeah, that tiger lasted, what, one season? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was cool. It was, it was definitely cool. But, you know, I mean... Definitely cool. But yeah, that I mean that's that's just how it felt to me was oh uh you know the the network uh or or production company said, you know what? Tiger's not really working, you know, we're losing money. What's up? Okay. Uh, all right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's you know, it is it is a repetitive. Uh, 
It is, you know, the villain villain situation has been extremely repetitive. Um, you know, I will be honest in saying like they've been so they've been dealing with the walkers for like ten years. Like, um. I mean, at what point are they just going to fall down and not be able to walk around? I mean, are they really getting that? Because if you, if you break down the um, necessary functions for your body to move, um, it's seriously like you need muscles. And in order to feed muscles, you need protein. Uh, and so how are they, and, and fats, and all this other stuff, and, and quite frankly, how are, the, how are these zombies getting that? Like, how are they? Just a minute, guys. Sorry about that. The wind is actually getting pretty crazy. So, just as a heads up, if I if I lose you guys, that's why. Um. But no, I mean, it's it's seriously a situation of we keep getting the same same things over and over again. <clears throat> And I know, you know, I'm being a little, little more logistical than I should. I mean, we're talking about freaking zombies in a TV show. But at the same time, like, why are these walkers, or why are these zombies still walking around? I mean, not trying to be that, trying to, not trying to be that guy, but at the same time, come on now, come on now. The deal is that everyone is infected, and when anyone dies, they come back as the undead. Right. So, are you saying these are all new dead people? Is that Dion, is that is that kind of what you're saying? Is the zombies that they are encounter, encountering are not from infectious day one or year one? These are year ten zombies? I mean, like... That is the only thing that makes sense. It was explained in the CDC uh, episode. I'm just, I mean, I guess, I guess my question to that is, it just seems like there's still a lot of zombies around. I mean, 
in in one area. But I get I get that logic. I do I get I get and understand that logic. Because yeah, that would make sense. I mean <coughs> I mean, I personally, but, but at the same, I don't know, I'm thinking about this too logically, because I'm also looking at the fact that, okay, well, if that's the case, like, in a normal sense, what has happened is the walker has devoured the, the body well before it actually turns, like, because the, the turn is not instant. And I mean, we've seen bodies that are literally just bones because they've been devoured. I agree, uh, like what about the other cities, countries? Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you know, like they did Fear the Walking Dead and they went out to LA, but to be honest, they didn't stay in LA. It was like, they were in LA for the majority of the first season and then all of a sudden they went, they, they jumped down to Mexico. And then they worked their, they, they had to work their way back. But they, I mean, we don't actually know where they're at, but we know that they're not in um, in LA anymore. I mean, the last the ma last major clues that I saw as to where they were at, I would think that they'd be like in Oregon because Oregon has a lot of dams, and they were showcasing at one point they took over a dam. But I mean, they're not showcasing desert land; it's all mountain forest land. So, like, like, yeah, where are they? I mean, it almost seems like they're kind of in Texas with the landscape that they're in right now. Dead versus living ratio would, de would depend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, when the zombies eat people, they leave nothing left. Exactly. So if there's nothing left other than bones, the bones can't walk around on their own. Because the only reason we're walking around is muscle mass, or muscles. So that's why I'm like, at this point, the rotting, the rotting flesh, unless it was constantly being fed, I mean, because think about it, as, as humans, I mean, we would die if we don't eat after, I want to say, I want to say two weeks. Because most of us are, like me, fat, and I, shit, I'd probably last a month without eating. Um, I mean, we, we, we can't go without water for like three days, but we can go without eating for like two weeks without dying. So, and even at that point, at the two-week mark, our, our, our fat would be next to nothing. I don't know, like I said, I'm probably overanalyzing it. I mean, I'm also that guy that brings up, like, how are zombies overpowering people? I mean, I would think a zombie would be, like, I can understand a horde. Like, if you're dealing with, like, 
you know, five on one, yes, they could, like, they could probably, they could easily overpower me. And, and like I said, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot, 300 pounds. You know, uh, as far as compared to the planet, not a whole lot of people could take me on um, and actually put me down like they're showing casing on the show. Um, yes, there are a few that are, of course, trained and all that, but the average person doesn't have that military training. So the average person isn't going to be able to put, you know, somebody down like that, that easily. So, like, how are these walkers able to put down, you know, a person, a, although probably malnutrition, uh, person, but how are they, how are they able to put, put down someone who is actually alive? I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably overanalyzing it, and I apologize, but... I'm just a logistical person or a logical person, and it's like, um, you know, the the sniff test isn't exactly there. With all that said, I really like the show. Hey, Mike, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Ooh. Mike says, you know what I love about all the uh, zombie movies and TV shows? All people living in a zombie world have purely white teeth. Hey, just saying. Um, I think there's a logical reason behind that, though, Mike. Um, the logical reason being, one, it's a TV show, so logic is, there you go. Um, <laughs> no, there, I think there's a logic behind it because you're not seeing, like, yeah, in a zombie apocalypse world, yes, uh, you would think that their, their, their teeth would be somewhat rotted. But if you think about it, like, there is probably a shit ton of uh, um, toothpaste in the world if everybody, like, because you're not, people aren't thinking about toothpaste. I mean, it's like condoms. You know, if the zombie apocalypse happens, you really think people are going to be thinking about condoms? Like, I, I honestly think there's going to be a surplus of, like, that type of stuff. Like, obviously, feminine hygiene products are going to still be around, you know, and, and, and stuff. Like, there are certain things that are going to run out rather quickly, and they're going to have to figure it out. But I don't, I don't necessarily think toothpaste is going to be something that would run out, especially with all the toothpaste, toothpaste on shelves nowadays, whether it be um, adult toothpaste or children's toothpaste or whatever. Um, the other aspect that I think... Uh, to, to consider with that is um, in a zombie apocalypse world like we wouldn't you probably wouldn't be eating uh, the 
a lot of stuff that's going to be that's going to rot your teeth like there's not going to be soda I mean soda, soda coffee all that stuff that that's when you're fighting for water and that's stuff that doesn't have a long shelf life I mean because soda only even soda only has like a year shelf life so I think after a certain period of time those those aspects aren't going to be there and you're really even if they are there you're not going to be focused on them enough to really to really care about them because quite quite frankly when I'm out scavenging yeah, it might be a treat to grab a candy bar, but I mean, I'm not going to grab a whole lot of candy. I'm not going to be grabbing a whole lot of sweets. Period. So I think I think there's 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 there is a logical reasoning behind the fact that you're not going to see people with rotted teeth because people aren't going to be eating stuff that necessarily going to rot rotten their teeth. There will be plenty of Twinkies. Oh, well, well, not really, because I mean, think about it. The Twinkie Corporation shut down for several months. I mean, it wasn't until a, a different company, you know, stepped in and and actually brought them back to life, because people were like, "I want my Twinkies." Twinkies and spam. I mean, yeah. I mean, any canned food is going to be around, but it's um, it's just a matter of if people are actually going to be eating them. I mean, that's that's my honest assessment, anyway. I mean, are people going to really be eating, you know, eating that stuff, other than it being a treat, you know, a one-time, one-off? Oh my God, I just found a Twinkie! Holy cow! Twinkies from the movie. Oh, what was it? Woody Harrelson Zombie Zombieland? Yes, we actually talked about that a little earlier, Mike. Uh, in regards to talking about uh, Zombieland, you missed the boat, buddy. No, I'm kidding. Should have been here, man. Oh. Probably will literally eat anything when they're starving. Well, yeah, but what I'm what I'm getting at is, like, people would probably eat toothpaste. Eat to, uh, toothpaste can be a source of nutrition. I don't know that you can live off it, but I mean, you, I mean, it's it's got calories. It's got um. I I personally don't understand why people like in that situation and and I think we've talked about this before um, but if I was in a in a zombie apocalypse I would find the most isolated uh, piece of property that already had some kind of you know perimeter around it um, that I could. Um, whether it be mountains or cliffs or an island or something like that. And then I would fortify that bitch with uh, steel shipping containers. I mean, to me, that's a no-brainer. Uh, I mean, because you're talking about a double hull, basically. I mean, easily, two shipping containers, or one shipping container is like 10 feet tall. And then you have a double layer of wall. So zombies aren't going to get over it. They're not going to get through it because it's steel. Granted, it could rust over time, but it still takes, you know, 20, 30 years for that to happen. And if you keep it up, there's no reason. And those, those things are somewhat easy to move around. People will literally, yeah, uh, I personally don't understand all the craziness fan base for zombie culture. 
Well, you know, to each his own. I mean, I like it. I, I think it's it's a fun, you know, uh, vacation from reality, you know. I don't, I guess for me, I don't, I mean, I'm a logical person, so I, like, if given that scenario, I would be like, okay, this is what I would do, but I, I, to be honest, don't really understand, like, the preppers mentality when you see the show Preppers, and they showcase, oh, well, these guys, you know, these guys are prepping for the zombie apocalypse, and it's like, um, really? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to see zombies? See most of our front end grocery store uh, grocery workers. <laughs> yes. You are right, my friend. You are right. They're they're kind of they're worn out. They're tired. They're zombie-ish or zombie-esque. I I can uh, yeah. My uh, wife's cousin Blake. Uh, he's he's a butcher, and uh, he's he's saying like they're and he's a manager and they're working him 60, 70 hours a week. It is crazy, Mike. I like zombie stuff and enjoy the zombie-based games. Comics, TV, and movies. I'm not a fanatic, but it's cool. Same here. Uh, Scotty, I'm not sure if I said hi to you, buddy, but uh, hey, Scotty, how's it going, man? Thanks for joining us. Brains, brains for lunch. Brains for breakfast. Brains for brunch. Why can't we have some brains? <laughs> That's the truth, Mike. Uh, in a zombie world, it would be time to raid Area 51. Uh, raiding would widespread by everyone. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, th there would be a huge raiding issue. Uh... But that's with anything. I mean, look, I mean, we went through a pandemic and look what happened. Everybody freaking went to Costco and bought all that toilet paper. Uh, you know, they, they bypass stuff like, I don't know, batteries, food, canned food, uh, you know, all, all, all that, you know, crappy stuff that you really don't need. 
uh, and they, they focused on toilet paper. Hey Scott, mock is looking good. Thanks, buddy. I feel like I'm not making a whole lot of progress on it. Um, but I'm not I'm not finding the pieces I should be finding. Which I will be honest in saying it is a a bit frustrating. don't really understand why I'm not finding them because they should be here. I've combined two sets and for whatever reason they should be here and they're not. I bought four months of toilet paper then bought the food I needed. I did just fine when the the sheeple <laughs> uh, I need one by one red. I mean, to be honest, I, I honestly think that's what, that's what really hurt us, is everybody freaked out and then, you know, and rushed out to get whatever they felt they needed, and all they did, in, in addition to picking up um, groceries, they picked up COVID along with it. food and water, they often resort to cannibalism. Yeah, in some capacity. Which is exactly what happened in in, uh, in um, Walking Dead. I mean, it was short-lived, but in the, in the show they, they came across a society that They were eating people. All right. I don't know where that piece is, and I am not going to waste my time looking at box bins that, for whatever reason, don't have them. So I'm going to open up a new bin.
Dion took those pieces. Yeah, I think so. Pass another piece of Dion uh, or Phil Dion. LOL City Slicker scene. Nice. You think there would be more uh, cannibal uh, tribes in, to be honest, in the world? Is The Walking Dead coming to an end? Uh, maybe I should uh, binge watch it. Um, from what I understand, they're doing spin-off series. Like, it's not coming to an end, but there, it's like it's still going, but they don't know for how long because a lot of the actors that have been on the show for a while, they, they, they kind of want to bounce. Um, so it's hard. I mean, I think, what, there's, um, there's only two, I think there's only two actors left that have been on since the first season, and that's uh, Carol, or characters, and that's Carol and then um, Daryl. Carol and Daryl. I think the rest of them are all dead. Rick is off somewhere. We don't know where the hell he is. But the guy, I know the guy that plays Daryl, he's been wanting to bounce from the show uh, for actually a little while now, and they keep dump trucking him money because everybody likes him, and I think now they're doing a spinoff, and he, he kind of just needs to ride the gravy train. He needs the let on that he's thinking about leaving so that they up his pay. I mean, shoot, that's what I would do if I if I if I was a, a, a you know a key on on a key TV show that was recurring like that, and uh, I was on for a while. I mean, the whole point of an actor is to be an actor, is to act. So, I mean, why walk away? Walk away. You you if you get other opportunities presented to you. Figure out a new, a different way of doing them. Like during your off season, tell them, hey, I want to do this project. Leave me that alone, you know. But come back to the show, get that solid paycheck. Get that money, especially the money that they make. I mean, holy cow. Show me the money! I mean, you guys know me. I'm not necessarily all about the money, but come on. I mean, they make a ton. I haven't watched this season, Mike. I mean, they're exploring different stuff. Mike uh, says, I know there's a movie coming out as well. Rick Grimes' character, I know that I know that much. Ride that zombie train all the way to the bank. Absolutely. I mean, but it's not just any, not just zombies. I mean, if, if you're an actor, I mean, because they're getting paid. What? Probably a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars an episode. They make sixteen episode seasons. I mean, that's like not including per diem and all that shit. They're making two million dollars a season. Like, ride that gravy train. Ride that gravy train. Ride it, ride it, ride it. Giddy up. Giddy up. 
Ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it. Giddy up. Giddy up. <clears throat> Scotty! Oh, yeah, dude. Congrats on getting monetized. Thank you very much, Scotty. I appreciate it. So, if you don't know, Scotty, so every dollar that is donated, I do an exercise. Um, in addition to uh, all of the money going back into my channel, uh, all of the money that gets donated uh, via super chats and super stickers, I do an exercise. So you don't, and you get to choose. <coughs> so I'll give you a minute to choose, and then I, if if I don't hear from you, I will choose myself. So out of the, uh, you have these as options. You can do, uh, you can have me do push-ups. Jumping jacks or cherry pickers? Which would you like, my friend? Jumping jacks, push ups, or cherry pickers? For every, one, uh, for every dollar donated, I do one because I want a slim. So uh, <laughs> I like to joke around and say, Donate to me if you want me to see. Um, you got. Um, some jumping jacks. Cool. So yeah, every dollar that gets donated, I do an exercise because I want to slim down. And uh, so you guys are going to help me with that. All right. So ready? Can you see me? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much, Scotty. I appreciate it. <clears throat> For those that don't know, Scotty does have a channel. Go check out his channel. A channel. In addition to doing it to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. I think. It, uh, let's see. Cool. Thanks, Scotty. Dion says. Mike says. Uh, I think if memory serves of. Uh, Wait, serves Steve Siegel did a sword fighting zombie movie? Or Steven Seagal? Probably. He does some random ass movies. Cool, nice forum. Well, thank you very much. All right, where is that? Oh, what thanks? Thanks so much. No problem, man. And, uh, I do that for a reason. You donate to me, you can write that off as a tax deduction for advertising. <laughs> you guys help me, I help you. Appreciate it, buddy.
Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, I, I heard, um, going back to our, our conversation, I did hear that they were doing a Walking Dead movie and it's going to be Rick Rhymes. Uh, there is a rumor going around that Marshawn is going to be in it too. Um, so we will see if that is actually the case. Um, and then, yeah, they're, they did Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, or they're doing Fear of the Walking Dead and then they did Beyond, uh, Beyond the Walking Dead. But I think people are trying to get Beyond the Walking Dead back, but I don't think it's going to fly. I don't, I don't know that it's been approved for season two. Um... Let me see. What is it called? Oh, The Walking Dead World Beyond. It is, it's, um, they do have a season two listed, and they do have episode one listed, but there's nothing, it doesn't talk about it at all. Um, Yeah, it, it does show season two, but there's nothing, it doesn't say anything, so I don't know if it's been greenlit or what. Um, let's see. Oh, world, yeah, world beyond. Man, where did our weekends go? Our week, yeah, I know, right? Uh, Scotty says, Mike, weekend was fun. Or full of crawfish boils and Easter egg hunts. Nice. I think season two is due uh, this year. It does list season two, but it doesn't show when it's going to air. I didn't see that either. I've been busy with a baby. Uh, I will just get the DVDs. If they come out on DVD... Sure, it'll come out on Netflix, but Dion, I don't, I don't remember if you do Netflix. I know you don't do Disney Plus. Wait, I think I already went through this. Hey, Dion, look for your club.
You should think about um, getting these stickers, man. Those would be awesome stickers for your club, dude. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like part of a friend set. Yeah. Oh man, that would be perfect. Let me see if I can find it for you. Cause I have, you know what? To be honest, I have a bunch of those. I think if I end up doing a club or like a brothel of anything. Uh, I would put that, but let me see, because I know they're, they're friends. Kind of look it up. Ah, right here. This has got to be where it's from. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Let me uh, share this. Hold on one sec, guys. Here we go. Dion. Check this out, dude. Why is it blue? Alright, there we go. Uh, yes, you are right. Well, yeah. Pop Star Show Stage Building Kit. Mmm, chocolate Easter cake. What? Yeah, this is... This is... I mean, I would... There you go, Dion. Seriously, dude. Now this set is like 75 bucks, okay? But if you went to Bricklink, let me see if I can go to Bricklink, uh, 41105, 41105, search. Check that out, dude. There's your sticker sheet. 
right there. There's your sticker sheet. Look at that, dude. Uh, 33 cents. 33 cents, dude. And then let's see. If, if you got it from Canada, I mean, even if it was a dollar, that'd be perfect for you, man. Yeah, there you go, man. This this person right here, they have it. It's a Canadian store. They're in Ontario, Canada. Seventy three cents. Uh, Canadian. Yeah, for the strip club. There's a lot you can use for your club in this set. In that set, dude. I mean, if you just wanted to get that sticker, because that set Canadian is going to cost you a hundred bucks or a hundred dollars Canadian. But if you just wanted to get the sticker sheet, it's going to cost you seventy-three cents Canadian, fifty cents American, or fifty is sixty cents American. That would be sweet for your club, dude. Line the windows with that, and then on the other side, your advertisements and such. There you go, my friend. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Hey, Dion. Write that down. Dion, did I mention? Write that down. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. That's it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, Dion. Write that down. Oh, hell yes. I wrote it down. Thanks, Scott. No worries, dude. All right, cool. Uh, ooh, can I? I should be able to do that. Yeah. Hey, Dion, write that down. <laughs> Dion, did I mention uh, you should write that down? <laughs> I think you should write that down, Dion. <laughs> I like him, he's crazy. 
I sure am. <laughs> Got a fitted white jacket and everything. Maybe he's saying, maybe we're the crazy ones. I like that. I like that a lot. Paul W. What's up, what's up, my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. How you been, man? Glad uh, things are working out for you at the uh, DMV. Paul W says, so I have to ask, uh, did you buzz your, uh, buzz cut your hair so we would not notice you losing your hair as much? I actually have a full head of hair, thank you very much. Um, I'm not losing my hair, my hair is just gray. Give me one second, guys. Operation Pavwall is in effect. I really hate the DMV. Oh, I do too. Trust me. Department of Mindless Drones.
Sorry, guys. Uh, again, Operation uh, Pavwall is in full effect. So I am. Uh, Sarge is hooking me up again, uh, checking out some Pavwalls in our area that I don't necessarily get to go to all the time. And. Uh, I, again, I apologize, guys. Uh, all right. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Again, I apologize, guys. Uh, checking out this pav wall. I would share the picture with you, but I would, uh, that's uh, sharing Sarge's uh, information, and uh, I don't. I don't want to necessarily share that. Going back to the build, finish up, finishing up these walls, uh, and uh, let me get back to chat. Again, I apologize for that, guys. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, so... Paul W. being a smart ass, and uh, so I have to ask, did you buzz your uh, buzz cut <coughs> your hair so we would not notice you losing uh, your hair as much? No, actually, I have a full, thick head of hair, uh, and um, it's just turning gray and white. Um, all my uncle, like I don't have I don't have hair loss issues in my family, so it's not about that. 
It's just about, uh, I have very thick hair, and uh, my head gets hot, and as is, I have issues sleeping. So when my hair, when my head gets too hot, I get too uncomfortable, and I can't sleep even more, so I shave my head. Uh, thanks, I really hate the DMV. Yep. Uh, Paul W. says, but what was really funny was the examiner that was helping me remembers me from when his family came into my place of work. LOL. Nice. Triple D Honey, how's it going, my friend? Um, retracted both comments. All right. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Again, I apologize for, uh, kind of stepping away a little bit. Yeah, I'm curious as to what Danny uh, retracted now. What'd you retract, Danny? Like, you don't have a channel or anything, so I'm like, wait, I mean, you wouldn't, what's going on? Hope everything's okay. Glad you're doing good, my friend. Uh, Mike says, looking forward to Friday afternoon. That is when my fa uh, official vacation, or uh, my vacation officially starts. That's awesome. Yeah, what are your plans, dude? Yeah, doing nothing for my week off, LOL, and enjoying every minute of it. Nice. That's always good.
waiting on gray Lego pieces to start building my UFO mock. That's cool. Are they going to be like the curved, uh, the old school uh, curved pieces, or what are they going to be? Ouch, those can be rough. I've had uh, both knees. Wait, oh. Uh, sorry. Uh, awesome, so maybe some cool Lego builds. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do back here. is my girl's knee uh, replacement surgery so I'll be waiting to hear from her during the vacation then I'll be here with uh, her virtually speaking the entire week that's cool uh, waiting on gray Lego pieces to start building a UFO I'm going to try and get the uh, to try 10 by 10 gray Lego slope pieces um, and see how they work. Um, look up. Let me see if I can find them because I have them. Um, I I would need to dig them out. I can't remember where they are though. Uh, check the, check out the Alien Conquest um, sets. Let me show them. Uh, if you take a look at the Alien Conquest sets, um, these are really cool, and they're the parts should be fairly. Uh, like, I don't know if you can see that, because it looks blurry to me. Uh, you can see the round parts to them. Um, and that might be a really good option for you, Mike. Um, let me see. Because they did come out with, like, a World, world of the Worlds kind of series a while back. And um, there was there was some other pieces that they came out with. They might have been Star Wars. Yeah, 
Yeah, like this will give you kind of an idea. Oh. Like they have some really cool ones there. If you take a look at that. What was the other one? There were some other weird pieces that they have too that are kind of UFO-ish. If I can't find them in here, I'll, I will grab them real quick. See, like, they have these pieces. I can't remember. Like, I have a few of these. And you can do them in black, there's gray, I mean they have a bunch of different colors, so it's not like you have to go with gray. But um, let me... Um, Uh, let me look, uh, I have a, a few of them, hold on. Down. Yeah, I actually have a bunch of them here, so it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do. I mean, they even have these neon color ones. And then they have like these these pieces right here that you could use. And then they have like super bigger ones, like you know, they have the small versions of this right here, and then they also have these bigger ones. So like if you wanted to do more than one. I'm trying to see if I have any more of these that. Oh. And then, yeah, they have like the, the black pieces that you can use. But this kind of gives you an idea, man.
So like if you uh That doesn't even freaking fit. What are they, stone? Alright. That should work. I mean, I just, I just kind of BS building that, but go man but yeah no there you go Kind of curious what part numbers on there. They're all the same. Doesn't have a part number. All right, I'm going to share this screen. That way you can, uh, you have the part numbers. But there's the part numbers right there, buddy. Unfortunately, I can't really blow them up uh, without clicking on them individually. And it looks like there's four different parts. But, I mean, you can use like four of the same part, and I think it would do the same thing. Um... I'm kind of curious as to what, because I think I have the top two. Kind of curious as to what those would be individually as far as price goes. Oh man.
Yeah, there you go, Mike. Now picture a, a crane coming out of the underneath and uh, abducting a cow. That sounds cool. I mean, Mike, depending on where you get them, they're going to vary in price. I mean, I think I think they're such an old piece. I mean, this one, this guy, <coughs> he's selling them for one cent or seven cents. Granted, he's only got one. I mean, you would want to buy one with somebody that has four. So, Mike, to help you on shipping, uh, minimum quantity is four. Search. If you stuck with somebody in the uh, in the U.S., this person right here is selling them for 23 cents each. That's not bad, dude. I mean, you're literally getting a UFO a UFO for a dollar plus shipping. So I'm gonna leave this this one up. So you can get the part numbers. Hey Mike, write that down. But I mean that gives you that gives you a plan, dude. I mean it gives you an idea. Writing them. No, Mike, it's a it's a joke from earlier because I was doing the same thing uh, with Dion and in parts for his strip club, and I kept saying, "Write that down. Write that down. Write that down." Oh, I forgot I was still live on this. All right, let me transition back. No, it's putting stress on it, so I have to go back to the other one. Oh, well. That was uh, my conversation before you got distracted, Scott. Um, what was your conversation? I wish the UFO set um, that I have came with a cow. I mean, the good part about it is they have cows to include it. Uh, they have cows. I mean, you can buy a cow. I wish this was shorter, because I don't plan on going too big with this building.
because I don't have a whole lot of windows. I have to look for him. Alright guys, I hate to do it, but uh, we're coming up on uh, almost three hours, so I am going to uh, go ahead and cut it. Um, thanks for all your love and support, guys. Remember, this is our new schedule, minus, um, minus some changes here and there. Uh, I, will be, I will be making some slight changes when I have rehearsals, because we do have some weddings and everything coming up, but um, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Special shout out to uh, Scotty, Scott's Blocks for donating uh, $5 to uh, today's stream. I really do appreciate it. Every little bit helps, guys, um, whether it be to help me slim down, uh, also it's helping me, you know, uh, sustain the, the channel with all the Legos and or the Lego and all that kind of fun stuff. So, uh, so yeah, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., as well as Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 p.m. to midnight. So uh, thank you again for all your love and support. Really do appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Hold on. Uh, and we will see you next time. Next time. Next time. Next time, <laughs> I'm 36 bucks. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here on the live stream. It was an amazing experience. I love hanging out with you guys. As always, <clears throat> I feed off your guys' energy when I see so many people like yourselves here in the live stream. It really pumps me up and gets me going. So I hate to cut it, but I got to go. I do want to give a special shout out to all the moderators that joined me tonight and helped uh, moderate the stream. I also want to give a special shout out to all of my members. Again, thank you so much for all your love and support. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. That's patreon.com backslash 36 B-R-I-X. Check out my memberships and you could sign up for one yourself. Again, thank you guys for joining the live stream, and we will see you next time on 36 Bricks. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It means a lot that you've taken the time uh, to support what I do and appreciate all the effort that I put into both the videos and the streams. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. For those of you that are not members, please check out patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. That's patreon.com backslash 36 B R I X, and check out the packages that you could take advantage of to get more content.